Ice Cream Hoagie, thank you for a $2 super chat. What Fat Shark micro quad is the quietest but still fun? Is FS Fat Shark? I assume it's Fat Shark. Is he talking about Walk Snail? I would assume he's talking about Walk Snail. Or Fly Fly Sky? But I don't know. Ice Cream Hoagie, you need to tell us what FS means. Otherwise, we can't answer your question. Freestyle? Crafted Quad says freestyle. That actually makes the most sense. What freestyle micro quad is the quietest but still fun? Uh, a 1S 3-inch toothpick is the answer to that question. If you disagree, you are wrong. I love doing that just to piss people off. Uh, people who love the Odonata are going to jump up and say, you need a little quad like the Odonata or the Flysky 1.6 1, 1. inch or the Bobito. Are those quieter than a 3 inch toothpick though? That's the question. Are they quieter than a 3 inch toothpick? I don't know, but I suspect that the larger 3 inch props are going to be quieter because in general, bigger, slower props are quieter but then the bigger, heavier quad is going to be louder. I would argue that a, that a 1.6 inch is not quite as quiet as a three inch toothpick. So if you care the absolute most about noise, then a three inch 1S toothpick like a baby tooth. You're going to have to build it yourself, though. That's the thing. If you want something just to buy off the shelf, get something like, uh, do you think, again, chat, I'm, I'm looking at you. Is a two inch going to be quieter than a 1.6? Don't, don't know about that. That's a tougher one. So, uh, Crux 3, the Happy Model Crux 3 would be an off the shelf choice. Happy Model Crux 3. So, if you want to, uh, okay, great. The, co the collective consciousness has settled on an answer. I knew we'd get there. And I get to keep all the Super Chat money. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so Happy Model Crux 3.5? Is the Crux 3.5? No, the we, we, Crux 3, not the Crux 3.5. Crux 3 is a better choice. Excuse me. Happy Model Crux 3. This is, this is the off-the-shelf one you should get. Happy Model Crux 3. This is a fun little ripper. Very, very quiet on buy blades. This is like pretty much the right choice. There you go. And I think it's going to be quiet, quieter than almost anything else you get. And going to have plenty of acro performance. Buy an extra frame, says Machine Head, if you buy the Crux 3. Fair enough. Tom White. Thank you for a $10 super chat. I had a crash where the FC and ESC plug burned on the FC end. New build with only ESC carried forward. Motors are getting burning hot, just idling and sound rough. Is the ESC bad? I mean, here's how to tell if the ESC is bad. Tom Wyke. Uh, use the motors tab sliders instead of arming. When you use the motors tab sliders, the, the flight controller... Uh, the gyro and the filters and the PIDs are completely removed from the equation. And if the motors are super hot when using the motors tab sliders, that is a mechanical problem like the ESC is damaged or your motor screws are too long and are touching the windings. It is not related to the flight controller itself, though. Ice Cream Hoagie asked with a $5 super chat. Uh, Ice Cream Hoagie asks, what's the quietest but still fun freestyle micro format? I think we kind of answered that question. It's three inch toothpick in my opinion. Quietest, but still fun. If you really want to do like proximity bashing, like jungle gym bashing or indoor flying, there's an argument to be made that you're better off with something with prop guards because it'll, it'll take the hits better. Whereas a three inch toothpick, you're smacking those props around. That's going to be way more likely to break the motors because of the leverage on the motor and the props are going to break. So it's arguable that some people would prefer prop guards even though they fly worse. Um, so maybe like a 75 millimeter, people, somebody would say that's the right choice. But I would say for freestyle, for all except like really tight proximity where you're going to be bouncing off the obstacles, probably three inch toothpick is the choice. Meteor 75 Pro, exactly machine head, something like that.
Saad says, thanks for all the videos, JB. I got me obsessed with flying. And thank you for a $10 super chat, Saad. What's a good radio for a beginner on PS5 Sim? Uh, PS5 simulator, what sim is he talking about? Is it DRL? There is a sim that works with regular controllers on PS5, Does isn't there? I think there is. Um, I would say any of the radios, any of, if the PS5 can take generic HID controllers, generic joysticks, then any of the controllers at my website... Oop, wrong, wrong button. Any of the controllers at my website on the controllers and receivers page should be usable because they all can act as a SIM joystick. Um, I think that for somebody coming from a video game controller, the Radio Master Zorro is a solid choice because it looks and feels a lot more like a video game controller. Um, should I put Blue Jay on my Tiny Hawk 2? Thank you, Truth the Way I See It, for another $2. Uh, no. Probably not. I would just fly it as it is. Some ESCs, if you put Blue Jay on them, they uh, they they don't like it and they brick. Not a, not common. I think the Tiny Hawk Two flies pretty good with Emacs's settings. If you decide you want to, it's like I like to say that there's a difference between a daily driver and a project car. If this is your daily driver quad, just fly it as Emacs delivered it. It's pretty good. If you decide to make it a project and you're going to try to make it fly better, then put Blue Jay on it and start tuning it. But be aware that there's a chance you'll like F it up and not be able to fly it anymore. I just bought a three and a half inch grinder Reno. No clue what motor and props to go for. Any suggestions? Siati! Three and a half inch grinder Reno. Best motor and props. Siati is the man to answer this question. And although he is in the chat and he will answer it, he also has answered it here on my website, fpvknowitall.com, where we've got a sub 250 gram page that will answer that question. Motors, Siati, what do you got? Really? 1404, is that the right choice? Sixteen oh four, eighteen oh four. You should pick one of these motors. I personally would go towards like the the bigger motors. I feel like fourteen oh four, unless you absolutely need to stay under two hundred fifty grams. And a three and a half inch, I would probably skip the fourteen oh fours though. Seattle says sixteen oh four minimum. Yeah. Uh, looks like we got a little typo here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Yeah, get one of these motors from my website. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Siadi, for that. Okay, let's take some questions. Mo says, where's Bardwell's week nine IGAO submission? I guess I should submit since I sponsored this week. I've been super busy and did not submit. I didn't officially submit any of them, though. Um, but I've been watching them, and you guys are kicking ass. Um, Jerry X 4 says, What is with props? I got told more pitch equals more response, more control. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Higher pitch props will be less responsive. I guess they'll make more thrust, so maybe the quad will respond faster. Uh, yeah, I don't know who told you that. More pitch equals more response, more control. Lower pitch props are generally more responsive, but make less thrust and are smoother. 